Hello comrades, and welcome back to Revergrad. The city is doing fine at this point. If we take a look at our people, they seem to be relatively happy. We don't have way too many plus 21s. And we have a few houses that may be built some point in the future. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later, but our construction crews are busy. I know I could probably ramp them up, but I don't want so many because it's going to wind down in certain areas pretty soon. So wanted to talk to you about what's going on since the last episode. Not, not much in the way of construction that you guys don't already know about if you watched the last episode. Uh, we're almost done all of our tracks here as far as what we've already planned out. And one of the things I'd like to do during this episode is start getting serious about how trains would flow. Hopefully that will happen fairly soon. One of the first things I'd like to do is get our gravel train dropping off gravel to here. And in order to do that, I've kind of been waiting, and, I'm, and I've definitely waited until this point where we have one last section of track before we can cross over here. And this guy's going back over to Importska there to finish off some tracks. And there should be a train, I hope. Yep, heading up this way. Now these guys have been doing fairly well. I moved a couple more trains in, or one more I think. I think I had two before. So now I added another third one to work on things up here. So we're working on this loop. And getting this loop done will also let us finish this little section of track. We have a problem in that there's no way for them to get to these two tracks just yet. So we'll have to maybe have to come up with a way that they can turn around and then come to here but we'll see I've had another train just working on our main line which has really been the priority and until he got past this point at this point now I could probably take this guy off of here but really what I want to do I think is take this guy you know the one that was working on this in this gateway love intersection I guess you could call it and when he gets done here, we'll, we'll move him to probably work on the main line over there. So there you go. So what else has been going on? Paving roads. So we have all but one section done. This guy is still just wrapping up the rollers out there somewhere, or at least it was. Yep. There's our roller, and he is uh, busily finishing off that last section. I just assigned another section to the guys down in Revergrad, so as they get further away, things things slow down exponentially, I've noticed. But anyway, we're really close to that. And if we come back and follow this road, you'll see we're almost all the way paved. Let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, so we still have this rather long section. But I think it darn near should be the roller out on this right now. Yeah, it's... We have a paver out still. Or do we just have... Oh, we have that much more to pave. If you guys can see that or not, but yeah, so we need the tiniest bit of of asphalt. But since we got our train going, at least gravel's not an issue. Uh, one of the things that's been the biggest, probably the biggest single problem we've had, and I kind of noticed it when I looked at this. Once again, it was taking a while to do our footpath. But it's not because we didn't have gravel; it's because we're really hurting for people. So I ended up changing the workers over to get workers from here, which makes sense anyway. I, I had forgotten that I hadn't changed it since since when we set up that. But Farminska doesn't have too many people in it. So, Farmingski, I'm sorry. And so what I've done is started working on these houses. Now, I realize that you pr we probably don't need that many people here long run. But at the same time, I guess it's not going to hurt and it's going to give us more people in farming ski than we've ever than we'll ever need the um another thing is is since the last episode this has been generally flowing it's not pretty because we just tend not to have enough corn and or people because i'm sucking so many people out to go do construction and that's where it's really hurt the most in a sense is is here where Right, of course, when I go to show you, there's a lot of people working there, but at times this dips off to almost nothing. You know, it gets to nothing. And then, you know, our intersection like this one, they stop working on it altogether. 
which slows down this guy because when he comes back that guy's just sort of sitting there doing nothing and even if I cancel the project and restart it he still sits there until that guy gets workers again so in any event here he comes he probably I bet you he'll finish off that one track so we'll let him do that and then once he gets done that that's when we can really because he, he well he doesn't have to come down both well he does the way I have it set up so he can't come in and switch lanes any place along here other than all the way back there so I can't really make all of this one way but once he gets done this then we can talk about a crossover and one of the way I want to just see before we because we could probably even get this building you know can we do it you know I know it probably has to be on a straight section straight ish can I do this I'm okay if it's not the prettiest crossing. Yeah, see that? So we can we can have them cross there and there. And the benefit to that is when you think about it, trains will coming in to the import will be able to go back out on the one way. So from this point forward it can be kind of a two way track at that point. Now the question is what, how does that affect this loop around? Well, the loop around and people coming into here, they're going to need to get both ways too, aren't they? So the question is, do we not... Here, let me cancel that. I know that it would fit. So if we had a cross here, then we would just... We would just have to deal with the inefficiency of the crossing here for one, which can be a real problem because then they get all jammed up at times. Or do we just cross like here if we can? I don't want to put this in place because it'll bust up. Oh, look, good. He's done that job. So can we put a... Oh, look, I have a crossing in here. Never mind. So if I have a crossing in there, maybe we put our crossing in here. because These guys can come up either which way out of here yeah I don't think I because I don't want to mess up this which I don't think it would necessarily mess it up would it but I also think I'm better off the crossing closer to import ski and I don't really think we even need this second track necessarily but what the heck all right so let's go down and uh, I'm gonna need to assign this guy another job I think yep so we're going to come up there and then come back and assign this other one. There we go. So then that way, all of that will be done. And then eventually I'll assign them to do these two. And that'll be done. And then once... Yeah, see, if he works on this, he'll be able to turn around and get it from whichever direction and turn around. So we could, really with a little bit of signaling, we could probably get this to be one way very shortly so let's see I didn't want to do too much until this guy got done because there's really no point I mean there's a point but it's I want this guy to be done so that he's no longer coming up this way I only have to make sure this these this construction crew can get down to there which I don't think will be any issue and this guy if you look is very close so, anyway, and at that point, just so you know, our, our train has been doing wonderfully, and I think that the issue in the future, just a little bit of micromanagement will be, if we add that other train station, it'll just be which one of them does he wait at before he goes to the other, and I think that'll just be dependent on who's using the most gravel between the two of them. And then I think the other priority will be just to be plowing along with this stretch of track here until we can get over to this corn situation that we have going on and get a corn train in there and then then we'll talk about another train coming all the way down here and one of the things I wanted to do also is you know we have the poss we have one steel line coming all the way over to here and I think I definitely want to get another line built 
into here. And the, the main reason is because I know we're going to end up wanting to get bitumen and or fuel and or oil out of here. In addition, we're going to want to have chemicals coming back into here potentially. So the thing I don't want to do is because I'm such a novice is start working on this intersection overly much before I figure out a good, make sure we have a good way of doing the intersection. Just make sure it works. So once I know this intersection's working well, up oh, there, he, oh, no, he's not done. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me pause for just a minute or two until this guy gets done, and then we can, once he's done, we can then, wherever he went, I lost track, well, there he is. Yeah, once, once he gets done paving that bit back there, we can, not paving, building the track, we can then talk about making this, uh, you know, where this guy drops off gravel to two places. All right, I'll be back in what's likely to be just a few minutes for me. Okay, I have uh, paused the game for a minute, and as you can see, I have some some trucks open here. The reason being, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, what I want to do is, even though it's a little bit annoying to have these open, blocking my view slightly, still have a big part of the screen open, each of these trucks is dropping off gravel. And because we're gonna about to make this train do the gravel, I wanted to set these guys to get off. Now, of course, all of, all of the trucks, this one's parked in here, and he's unloading as we're using it, so hopefully we'll use up enough gravel that he'll free up. But then I want to take them off of gravel shuffling duty. Uh, these guys here, or th this one here, and this one here are going to come to here. So I don't want them to do that anymore. So what I want to do is come down to Revergrad because there's still a little bit of room and just have them drop off in Revergrad. So we will come here, oops, sorry. We will come here and say add another stop and drop off your gravel here. And then I want to get rid of this stop. There we go. So they'll come to Revergrad and then we'll do the same thing with this one. Now, I'm going to have to keep an eye on them so that they actually go there. Now, this guy will keep an eye on once he gets empty. And this guy, once he gets empty, will try to intercept them and at least for now send them to, you know, to a depot somewhere, maybe right here if we catch them that quickly. All right, so let's play time again. And as you'll see, if I come back here, it's just been two seconds since this guy got done. So there's, if we so hover in here, there's no more uh, reason for him to, you know, inter interrupt this intersection anymore. So here's been my thinking, or here is my thinking. What I would like to do, I, you know, this depot and this whole thing is a little bit odd, but my biggest concern is that when they come out of out of the depot that they can get going in this direction and that they can get going in that direction you know at this point I know they can go in this direction and I think what we need to do is add another rail right here that goes to this track before we start making this all one way so let's come over to here and rails and so what I need to do is I don't know where I can start but yeah, see the semaphore is in the way, so let's let's go ahead and get rid of those. I thought that might be the case. So we, when he comes out of here, I want him to be able to head in, in this general direction, though it's not going to happen that way, is it? Let's come back a little further. There we go. Uh, Alright, you know what? Let's can I do it this way. Like I might. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter. All right, so let's commit to that, and we can send that to be worked on by these guys because I don't think the other guys can work on it. Plus, these guys have an extra, a free train. All right, so now, of course.
course, in order to do that, he's going to have to come up the wrong one-way track. <laughs> All right, but we can probably start setting these other track. Well, let's see. How's this guy doing down here? Did I jump the gun in coming back? All right, let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, probably because, well, yeah, I really almost need this one done so this guy can come back. If he doesn't get this done, which he's not going to because he's empty, then he's going to need to come back in on the wrong way track again, isn't he? Of course. Okay, so this guy's done. So let's, uh, let's go to him. Where are you at? All right, since you're already halfway to here. Let's send you down to here. Good. So we got one of the trucks done. And we can close this guy for now. Oops. There we go. And how are these guys doing? They're still full grab. All right. So I think what we could do maybe just to wait a little bit of time is to come in here and sort of make this a double track from this point forward. Right? That way, even if we don't get a big fancy intersection, we can start, start somebody working on this. Yeah, it's fine there, I think. All right, so now, when it comes to coming in and out of here, they're going to need to be able to come from both tracks, or they're going to need to come from this track and go this way. They're going to need to be able to go from... Yeah, see, this one's wrong. Because this is going to be the coming out that needs to go to that one. So let's, let's demolish. Oh, did it do both? Huh. Okay, whatever. What is this? Thumper. Yeah, still not. Oh, this guy's empty. All right. Uh, let's go zoom into him. Buddy, head back to here. Good. All right. Two dumpers emptied. Now, let's go back to what we were doing for a minute and make sure this guy. Is there somebody heading out here? Yes. Yeah, see, he's going up the wrong way track. But, you know what, I want to, let me commit to this, to this much track, just so as we get into this whole thing, we can. So, this guy is going to need to be able to come out and go this way. Let's make it look a little nicer, I think. Hopefully I didn't mess it up too much. Right, and then this guy is going to be the going in, and he's going to have to come from here to be able to go there. And then he's going to have to be able to come out of there and go to there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's that simple, actually, isn't it? The worst, well, no, we should be able to go down there, loop around, and come back, even if we, oh, what do we have here? And why? Unfinished railroad. Okay. I don't know why we had that. Oh, you know what? It was part of what I probably deleted. It was probably the part that went back there. But I think that looks reasonable, right? And that should be able to get them going any which way. And as long as we can do all the construction, we'll be in good shape. So that'll give this construction crew, the uh, gravel grod, one, some something to do once he gets done this. Now, how's he doing down here? He's still not there, but that's okay. How's our gravel trucks doing? They're not done yet. All right, well, there you go. So... <laughs> I think I'm going to pause it again and wait till that guy's done because, as a matter of fact, once he gets down there, which he's probably just on his way back still, it takes him forever to get down there and back. And then let's just see how these guys are doing real quick. 
Yeah, so these guys are all still assigned. Do they have a traffic jam? Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so I don't know where this guy was going. Probably... Probably into here, which would be this one, most likely. Yep, good. Now, why do you have... Oh, why do you have a question mark? Okay, you don't have your question mark anymore, but are you going to be just messed up when you get down to here? Do we get the train? Okay, so he is working, so he should be done. Oh, yeah, look, we're going to need to put another signal back up. Let's do that. And let's just see about making it one way, because this guy should be able to come back. So that's the wrong way. There you go. And then this would be... Probably put it closer to that, but yeah, like that. Good. So yeah, he should be able to come back the other way. Very good. Um, and you know what? I want to do one more thing. All right, what are you doing? Well, let's do this. Let's get the semaphore thing back out and see if we can't make this one way that way and this one way that way. And then same thing here. Right? And then this is going to be two-way. This is sort of a mess. Why is there two arrows there? Hmm. Just a graphic thing, I think. And these stay two-way, right? Yeah, because these are each like separate, just real long spurs into there. These stay two-way. Um, this was a chain signal. Oh, that's why it's got the two little things. Okay, well that's kind of a good thing to know. I didn't realize that. You see, so that, that symbolizes a chain signal. Good. Well, there we go. We'll learn something new. Yeah, I think that's... You know, I think that'll help a little bit. And then I think the other thing to do is to make... I don't really think we need one so close, do we? So let's get rid of these two. Just put them a little further. Further along. There we go. That wrong way. And we'll just put a couple so that they're not. There we go. All right, so that one's red for that reason. Let's switch that one. All right, so they should be one way coming up to this point. And then do we want to try to deal with this mess, or do we just leave it? Well, this one, I think we could do right as a way to just get him in and out of here now but this one I don't want to do this one just yet because they're going to until they have a place to cross I need to be able to send them up both of these lines so there'll be a, still be a bit of a problem but I think we just straightened out you know this whole thing should be one way and the only, well, we don't have it one way this way. So can he get? Yeah. See, I don't think. Here, let's see something. I don't think I'm going to be able to assign this guy unless. Oops. Where am I going? Unless. Yeah. So he doesn't connect. Is it far along here? Yeah, you know what? It's constructed enough. Let's do this. We talked about the crisscross. So they can come in and out either way. and it Just somewhere right in this area, I think we'll be fine. Let's come here and...
We'll do that, and we'll commit to that. And then, oh, I closed it. <laughs> A little too, oh, wait, are we? Nope, there's still got gravel. Wait, why are you going to there? I want you to go to here. Sorry, get distracted. Yeah, go to, go to there. Now, uh, I was doing what? I'm going to assign this to... Now I think if I can get them to do the crisscross, we can assign this later on. So, uh, but you know what? He's still going to have to come up the wrong way to do the other crisscross, isn't he? Alright, never mind. But we'll, we'll just assign him to do the, the criss... There you go. So he can do the criss. Just can't do the cross. There we go. Okay, so what that means is really I should put this back to the way it was. Right? Yeah. So it should still force them to go the right way. On this one little stretch of track. Yep. And then this thing, yeah, see, this is going to be the problem continuously, which I'm almost certain this guy was working on this track. Yep. Railroad 12. Let's see, where are we? Right, that's the only one assigned, so that's not, that's not good. Let's assign this guy work on this and then well I'd like I'd really like to get this done so if I can I'd like to assign those two now one of the other problems that I'm having is when I send all these trains out at once like that I run out of prefab panels so even though the prefab panel guy sits there and waits it these guys suck up a lot of prefab panels but the good news is is Look, all three trains got out. Last time that didn't even happen, so our prefab panel guy should be busy going back and forth. Look, our gravel goes down pretty good, too. So, yeah, you really need a pretty good flow of materials if you have these guys going in and out quickly. But they'll slow down a lot as they get further away, so. So good, so we're making progress. Like I said, let me pause it again until I think we can make this an official one way and, and I'm not too worried about the gravel down here. You know, we, we have a lot of it for what little we're doing with it. Now, how are we doing here? Oh, look, we got one road. Um, you know, I'm going to assign these guys to that one road. Oh, jeez. Easy there. Sorry about that. So we're going to make a new paved road. And then our road from... Our road should be pretty much officially done all the way from Revergrad to Molna in asphalt. And then that means these guys are free to do something else. So I don't know that there's any particular... Oh, what do we got here going on? Oh, that's just... Yeah, it, it would be nice if these farms were a little more efficient in getting trucks in and out. But... I don't think there's too much I can do about it. So really, the biggest thing to do here would be to start working on the on the radio station again, I think, just to keep them doing something. Is there anything else construction-wise that we needed to do? Well, we do have these yards ready, so eventually... Well, I'd almost like to just start bringing in steel on a track here, because we do have this steel. And we do have these prefabs, so one of these yards should be made for prefabs and the other one for steel. But I really want to, let's get this one-way situation straightened out first. All right, I'll be back when they're done. You know, this last little construction's done here so that we can make these all properly one-way. Real quick note, this will just be 30 seconds or a minute, 
this guy is blocking himself from moving forward, which I do kind of wish. I mean, I understand. It's the limits of how they've programmed it. But if you look, this guy, this block right here doesn't have a signal right there, right? So he's actually blocking himself because he's on this block, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get some signals in here. At least temporary signals. That's a road. We want railroads. So if I put one here, it's see that now he's green now the problem is we really kind of almost need him like here and here and I'll put another one like right here just to have it so that this completely isolates this block if there's any train in there now the other thing to say is these signals are probably in the wrong place so I think what I should do is let's come back to here there we go and then we'll come back to here Right, so now, yeah, you know what, and these, let's just straighten them up a little bit. They don't need to be next to each other, but, you know, so what I want to do is come a little bit past that, where that turn in will be. There we go. So now we have this kind of completely isolated from the rest of it, and once trains get in into here and start working, they're not going to mess up this main track there. So there you go. All right. Well, that was more than a minute, but okay. Okay, we're back again, and the guy down, uh, the train construction crew guy, he got done that little crisscross. I'm sure that's the technical term for it. And we are now, I think, able to try to make this one way. So let's see what happens. Now, I didn't assign him the last little bit. Uh, we can use him as a little test subject, but... This one would be one way that way, and this one would be one way this way. Um, I don't really think this matters, so I'm not going to mess with it. Wrong way. Now, by the way, I talked in one episode a while ago. There's a few things I mentioned, forgot to mention. And I thought, oh, well... I will uh, make it, I don't know which way to make it left or right hand. Well, these signals could be either way, but the first one is where I decided. The first one choice that you get is to go right hand drive because you wouldn't put the signal on the opposite side, right? So, you know, see the fact that I click, have to click twice to get this to go that way. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We can, if we start running into a lot of problems. Now, here's where we probably want you know, just another signal just so that trains don't. Oops, wrong way. Just so that the trains don't mess themselves up. Probably could use another one in there just so they keep moving if there's more than one train on the line. Oops, there we go. So we can change this over, change that. Probably could use another one in here somewhere. Let's stop them like before. Hopefully they would affect that street. And then maybe one before this mess here. So that is they're coming in and out. Oh, you know what? We don't have... Yeah, we need another track right here. So in other words, this guy can go in, but he can only go in on the one track. He can't come back out onto the other one-way track. So let's see, can we hijack this? No, signal in the way, okay. Let's get rid of that signal. How about if I came from like here and did that number? Thank you, all to save. And then we'll have to do the same thing here. So let's get rid of that signal for a second. Did I just build the, the littler track? No. I forget which, hopefully I had the right track selected. So we'll do the same thing. Now that's kind of a mess there, isn't it? Can I get in? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, that's a mess. Let's, uh, I can't cancel roadway. 
I don't know why I don't. Oh, yes, I can. There you go. I, th I didn't think I could delete roads like that. All right, so let's redo this, and hopefully, hopefully we can do across. Cancel. Cancel all that. I don't want to delete that. You know what? I'm going to pause it for a second just so that it's, it's acting a little buggy. Now, there, I know there's some people who've. There we go. All right, so let's see. So the problem was, let's see, can we get this guy to cross? See, this is a tighter turn is the problem. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they should be able to come in and out in whichever which way. All right, so let's commit to all of that. And then there's no reason that it can't stay one way, I think, right? Because in both cases, they'll come in here. Hopefully, they'll get done. Well, then they're going to want to come back out that way, aren't they? Ah, my dreams of one-way track the whole way. Yeah, see, so I think this is going to... He's going to have a problem when he comes to come back out because there's no crisscross like here so once he builds this he's got to come back out so we'll we'll have to make these one way or two way again unfortunately oops I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here and I think I'm actually gonna call this a little bit of a short episode and I when we come back that'll I'll just redo what I did and then what I would like to I think I'd like to do is do a little more planning down here and I don't want to get into all of that with this episode it's it's not long by any stretch but I think I want to commit like a, a good amount of thought and effort into this before I that but one more thing all right so wait before i forget let's come back over to here and this guy doesn't have anything assigned so let's get him to where he can work on this one at least there we go and then we'll have to put some signals in there all right well sorry about that i thought we were i thought we were further along than we were but the other thing well let's just check on these guys are they still no, they're not. Do they have... Why is that red? Because uh, that other... Is that guy... Oh, yeah. See, they're... Now, I'm assuming he's coming... I don't know where he's coming from. Um... Yeah, I got the right one. Oop, let's play it. Might as well play the time. I, I, sometimes I don't... So now let's get him to do that. And this guy's going up that track. So let's assume this was the other one. Okay, good. So we got them back to work. And the one thing what I was looking at is we didn't rebuild the gulag. And in addition to the gulag, I think what I would like to do, I was looking at the fire coverage and even though it's kind of far away so if we click on this and then oh look we don't have a fire truck let's get a fire truck um i'm assuming speed level nine five eight 
12, 13,000. Well, that's 23,000. It's only nine. wonder why that is. I don't know. I think we should just get like a regular... Look, this one's 12, too. Let's get this one because it's cheaper. Now, now, why don't we have any firefighters? Oops, went too far. Do we not have a... Oh, you know what? Look at this. I mean, that's probably not the reason, but what is that? Why is that orphaned like that? Oh, yeah, let's... Uh, let's come in... No, not that. All right, let's... So is this... Okay, okay. So now I should be able to... And that certainly won't hurt, right? So let's get these guys working on that first. And did we, were we not getting people because... Because we didn't have any fire trucks, so like now we have 12 firefighters? So that's a thing. So if we come up here and look, anyway, where I'd put the gulag, where we want to get rid of people if we ever want to dump population... Uh, you know this this would be in range it doesn't look it but if you if you follow the red here and here it, it is in the range so what I was thinking to do is just maybe put the warehouse put another warehouse here because it would be in the zone of the fire company so let's go to storages warehouse now if we put the warehouse in I wouldn't mind it if it had the possibility doesn't like being there. I have at least the possibility of here, you know what, let me get my wireframe on. Oh yeah, look at that. So let's get our leveling tool out. Let's zoom in a bit. So there's a big hill right here. So I think what I'd do is at least take it down somewhat. Or not down. If if not down, at least. better than it was. All right, so let's see. Can we get... Yeah, that would be awful steep for a train. We'd have to get rid of the wires, of course. So let me move it back this way a little bit. Give it... So if we did want to bring a train in and out of here, we could, though I don't really see that as a thing. All right, so there we go. So now we'll build the gulag... And I also want to, let's upgrade these roads before we do even anything else, right? So I'll come here. And, uh, no, but I will, well, yeah, you know what, we'll, might as well just do that. All right, so there we go. So we'll get Lumbrisca during the, you know, this will just be something that I don't, you know, that I might just keep clicking on. So there we go. We got them doing a footpath. We'll have them do... This road, they do have pavers, so they should be able to be pretty quick about it. They'll actually be slower about the construction, but that's okay. These aren't my highest priorities on the map, but they will keep these guys busy. And then I think we're pretty much done. I mean, there may be room for improvement in the future, but certainly until we get the train up here that can start hauling lumber, and even then, I don't know how much lumber we're ever going to really use. And I don't know, I mean, sure, we could export some of it, but I'm not overly concerned about making money that way. Oh, look, we can do a little bit more here. All right, so you are more geared towards paving roads, so why don't I assign you to do this and this? And then we can't really assign this, can we, because we just can't. So one of the things I had this other guy doing... The uh, Pritchett was to actually see this road here is actually a with a path and the other one's not. So let's. I figured I might as well put in these paths, even though I sort of made the mistake of attaching roads to it. But these guys, even though they don't, there's no paving involved. It's just getting the mechanical stuff over to here. 
So before we even build these houses, I want to get that to be an official nice road. And, but we'll get them working on all of this. So I may do a little bit of building these houses up before, before I come back for the episode. And I don't really think I'm going to be too long in between the episodes. I don't want to dilly-dally too much. Um, probably after this guy gets done, whatever he's doing down here. Which, look, give you an idea of the time. He still hasn't even made it here yet. Now, is that because I have... Yeah, see, he's still... I don't... There's no problem with him getting here after I switch the track direction... Or the track signals. But he's just... It just takes that long for them to drive down here. So, rather than force you guys to watch something that's... Aching to... You know, similar to paint drying. What did I do here? Okay, we got a crisscross it. That's kind of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> well, whatever works, it works. And, yeah, when we get this done, then we can get our gravel train going. So, I will... You know what? I'm just going to pause it for two minutes while this guy gets done. And let's get the gravel train... Oh, no, because we can't. Because he can't come in here and do this until he at least gets... But you know what, I might just pause it for a few minutes, let this guy get done these things, so we can actually see this gravel train going to two stops, which is doesn't sound like much of an accomplishment, but it, in some ways it really is. So, All right, you know what, I'm going to do this before I get to work on other things, and I will be right back. Okay, our man finally made it back down here. <laughs> I know it's probably been two seconds or five seconds for you guys but it just seems to take forever to drive down here and back so as soon as he's done this we'll be able to well we probably actually start switching the signals now right because he'll come back he can come back the correct way so let's go back to what we did before there we go. and let's try not to miss any So, once we get this done, we will be able to put this train on, and that's, you know, I think a nice episode-ending event. Accomplish, like I said, what seems like a minor goal, but in some ways it kind of means this whole track towards Revergrad is, is done. And that's, now this might become a problem, we'll have to see. In other words, getting in and out of if here might be a bit of a problem for our little one-way system, but yeah, there we go. Wrong way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so let's see what happens if we come all the way over here. Oh, look, he's just getting back. Good timing. Here, let's even pause it for a minute. So we're going to take to him, and we're going to say, okay, once you drop off there, then I want you to add another stop, and I want you to come to here. Now, even though that guy's still working, I'm not too worried because, or no, isn't he? Oh, he's already done that. Good. We can assign that in a minute. So let's select this, and then say add a stop after that. And you're going to unload whatever other gravel you have left. Now, here's a question. Are we going to use more gravel down here or up there? I think we're going to use more up there. So you know what? I think I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to say, I want you to add a stop. He'll come down to here first. Right? And then he'll unload. And the reason for that is I still want him to wait here because we'll use gravel faster at the Pritchett North stop. So there's a, you know, the Revergrad stop. He'll, it'll be, it'll cause problems because this will take a few trips, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so now, yeah, go ahead and, well, no, we don't want him. Well, let's head back up there. We'll let him, let's see what he's going to do. He's going to probably unload what he can, right? But that's not going to be that much. And then once he unloads what he can, Rather than have him wait this time, I want to say, 
yeah, I'm going to say just go down to Revergrad. How much does he have in him? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's have him just go refill a little bit. All right, there we go. So let's see how this goes. This will take a few minutes to watch him do his thing. And you know what? While I'm up here, how are we doing with this? Okay, we got those roads done. So what I wanted to do real quick with these guys, because they're not really, at this minute, that we may change that setup to do, let's get them to build a path, like here. And then the other question while we're up here is, how are we doing with this construction? We are just working on the road still, so that's fine. And then this guy? Nope, we're not doing anything. So that means we got another little sec. I, I did schedule, so to speak, another section of road while we were on break. There we go. So then we'll assign him. And I think I may even do this as the same type road because that way they can get to the firehouse and, you know, if for some reason they choose to, they can go to the pub that way, maybe. Okay. So now we need to assign this guy to do this last little bit, which he should be able to do even with the one-way tracks. Yep, I'll give you a message if he couldn't. Now let's go find our gravel train again, see how we're making out. Let's zoom in on him and take a ride on the train. Now one of the things I haven't done but I'll do between the episodes is the I guess it's up ahead actually he's not as far along as I thought is this well maybe we'll do it while we're waiting for our see how our trains going I don't think there's any other constructions for this guy to do and I think I would like to start working on a few more houses here so I think I'd like to move everything down to the to this construction office. There we go. So then what I'll do is in between the episodes start getting that road built. Again, I don't I'm not going to spend a lot of time, I don't think, between the episodes. We'll come back, do some planning. So let's close this. And I know I could probably get these guys over here more efficiently, but this guy's a little bit faster dumper, so we'll send him first. We'll have a little little traffic jam on our way over here, but I find it too annoying to to actually try to send flatbeds for all. It would be nice if there was some mechanism for sort of auto flatbedding them, if that makes sense. I think none of these guys have been reassigned. I'm just going to take everybody here. If I have to do a little bit of fine tuning when it comes to the actual construction, you know. and then let's get back. I think that's everybody. Yeah. Did I miss this one? No, just once they get out, that red symbol goes away. All right, there you go. So all of these guys should be moving, right? Yeah. No, he's yeah, he's got a red symbol. Yeah, they're just waiting for. Yep, good. All right, so they'll make their way down there slowly. Another thing I did, by the way, was take this steel guy and have him come here to drop off if he can. But instead of waiting, I made this a steel depot. So if you can see, we're now dropping steel off, even though I'm picking it right back up for my construction project. And then this guy is actually going to do the prefabs. And the reason I did that is because I ran out of steel here. Now, why are you... Ah, oh, shoot. Can I intercept him? I did that backwards, see that? Glad I... <laughs> kind of glad I caught that. Yeah, so this one we want to unload here first, and then go to the customs warehouse if you have filled everything else up. There you go. So did we intercept him? Yes, good. Now he's back on his way, because we could use the steel for this construction project. Let's 
what this guy should be doing. So this this came to a grinding halt, and we're also going to need a bunch more steel after that. So so I also took well the guy that was dropping off to here, I took him and said now nah, you you drop off here as well. And then the last I haven't reassigned the panels, so the steel prefab panels or the concrete panels we'll get from here until we run out. And then by then we should have plenty of them in here and eventually we'll do this stuff with trains but for now at least we'll have the stuff to work on this good uh, boards will be another thing but you can see we've over time built up quite a few boards over here probably years worth of lumber so uh, where's our train are we not paying attention being me not paying attention oh that's right he was going to go back in so he must have topped up right Yep, he's got 360. He was down to 305. And once again, now this time I think we'll stick with him until the end of the episode. As he drives past the Farmsk fields, who've been doing quite well. That's another, well, as we get our railroad tracks done, we can feel like we can make, that's when I'll start making improvements. I've noticed, you know, our American dollars haven't, gone up too much they're kind of holding their own and maybe but the rubles are still going up but I think we can be even more profitable not that we really need the money but you know it would be nice to be even more profitable right mostly because as we grow and expand things do cost more but we're really getting I mean we're not self-sufficient in the sense that we make all of our own products but we're about to get chemicals, which is a big step towards a bunch of other products. And the planning that I want to do in the next episode is is around getting that. It's really when you think about it, getting a plastics factory going, and we'll need some chemicals for that. And it's really not going to be too hard, I don't think, to start doing the mechanical components on our own. We've got all of our research done, so that's not a problem. And there we go, pulling in nicely. You know what? Now that I think about it. We need a signal here, don't we? Let's go get... Now, here's a question. Do we put... I think we put two signals. So if we ever did have two trains, one train should be able to fit in here. Or no, you know what? I don't know if that'll work, but whatever. Two signals, we got them now. They're free. And we probably need some signals on here as well. Um, where we need signals too is probably like in between like in other words I mean, this might end up having to be a chain signal but All right, there we go and then I think like here as well This one could be made one way, right? And same thing. Now this should be two ways because they'll come in and come back out. Now here, our crisscross is down here. So after the crisscross, it should be two ways. And then from here, it should be one way which means we should probably put a one way here and maybe another one there I don't know if that's that covers this intersection uh, one more thing that we could maybe do so there we go we got a train running back and forth he seems to be doing fine so that's a big event I'll do one more thing and then we'll end the episode I didn't do it and it's got it all the way up here these guys are working on plowing ahead with our main line but see what's happened here this is you know jamming all up now i don't think we're ever going to come out of here but uh, look and he stopped because they probably don't have any workers but what i need to do is actually add signals here yeah so they're, they're not working because they don't have any workers out of bet money so i wanted to do that so we'll probably we'll have to think about this i need to get this so where they can cross over and, and construct this line 
and make sure they can get in and out right, right? Like, so if, if they come in this way, they're going to need a, you know, let's do it now. What the heck? So this ends right about there. So a little further down. So in other words, when they want to come in here, they're going to have to cross that track like that. And then when they come out, they'll be fine if they can flip around. I'm assuming they can flip around there. And then the same deal would happen here. If they come out here, well, actually, they would come in here. They're going to need a way to flip over to this one to come back out and go this way. Now, I don't really, well, no, they might go up there to export stuff. So there we go. So we'll commit to that. And then we'll do some signaling. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do one of the problems is when you do this kind of cross is, is when they have a problem. So just so we don't have a future problem, let's just put these two here, which will separate those tracks all the way down to here. So that way, this you know when they both want to work on a separate track, they can. Good. Now let's make sure I'm right about this. Yeah, just no workers, which is why we're... Oh, look at this. What is going on here? Okay, say so this is... <laughs> That's why we had say this is the problem. When they get into here, they block the workers. And then once it stops, the whole thing jams up. So this is going to be this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there you go. All right, so yeah, while I try to do this construction, I'm just going to have to keep a closer eye on, on that. And and this is that's sort of part of the reason I'm not doing the the auto search, you know, cuz now what I'll do is I'll semi-intelligently you know send this guy out to here and then once send this guy out to here second so hopefully the first one that goes out will get past here and then the second one will come out but now we've got this all freed up and then the problem is it takes a little while to recover because even if you get a bus up there I don't know if this was the bus or not but like there was probably no workers on it because they sat there too long so it takes it a little while to recover. Like, see, there's this guy, no workers, because they sat on the bus too long. So once that happens to you, you're kind of hosed. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, that's an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We've got, you know, the uh, gravel train going to two stops. Now he stopped here again to wait to unload. And just because I want to make sure we get more gravel down the other end, you know what, him stopping by there is probably not even worth it. So let's just send him right on down to Gravel Grad. He doesn't have a question mark, so I'm assuming that's a good sign that he'll head on, not Gravel Grad, Revel Grad. And he'll head on down there and drop off the rest of what's in there. And So that'll be a problem until he gets filled up down here. But I think we probably should be pretty darn good down here, right? This is a smaller aggregate yard yeah see we're it's probably even unnecessary to do that to be honest but oh look at this radio station all right we'll come back when the radio station's blaring how's that sound i'll have to play some led zeppelin or something all right take care guys see you have a good day